YouTube, what's going on? Justin Skaggs here from Style and Strings Across. Today, I'm going to tell you about the new RP3 YouTube. The first thing you're going to notice is this rail going through the sidewall strings. The technical term from Brian is very flex inserts. Uh, it's also got something similar to like ACP style uh, intentions where it is supposed to stabilize it through different weather techs. So we just got one of these in, so I haven't had a chance to actually try that out. But um, it's obviously, it's jutting right through all of the top string holes. It's very predominant. And they're really putting a lot of stock behind this kind of tech. It also has very similar stabilization technology, uh, ivory technology, core technology. A lot of different head companies are doing this and it is definitely paying off. It's not as deep and drastic as something like the, uh, the old Brine Clutch 3 or anything like that. It's not as, as deep as that. So you're not gonna get, hopefully, the same kind of creasing. This head is a lot wider than the original, and it is apparently, just by flex, a little bit more stiff. We chose to uh, string this up with some thrown fiber. If you guys want to see how we strung this head, you can check out the video right here or in the comments section below for all the mobile users. You can check it out there. It strung up really well. The sidewall hole pattern uh, is very open. You can do whatever you want. There's a lot of holes down going down the sidewall, and the top string holes aren't too drastic or too narrow. You can get the strings you need through them, so that's awesome. Furthermore, the, uh, the new technology going through the top string holes doesn't inhibit you from doing what you need to do. There's plenty of room to put a triangle top string or anything that you need through the top string holes. I am a huge fan of the bottom of this stick, this nice big wide bowl down here. Really reminds me of more old school heads, which is the community I'm from. And uh, you can do a lot of the bottom string structure down there if you want to do a one-handed cradle. You can definitely string a pocket that will do that for you. As far as dyeing, it took the dye incredibly well. We have a nice vibrant neon green and a nice deep forest green. Uh, it's not a gloss finish, but it's not incredibly matte either. And that will uh, you know, allow you to do a little bit more detail work with your dye jobs. Whereas a lot of the incredibly matte heads, like a lot of the Maverick stuff, they you know, result in a lot of bleeds. Any offensive midfielder or attackman who doesn't mind a little bit wider of a head is going to really enjoy the features of this. Also, if you guys like a really stiff head and that's how you like to go through your checks, then that is going to work out fine for you. Uh, the new tech should keep you safe during the uh, you know various weather climates of lacrosse players you're playing in these days. Uh, let us know when this comes out how that works for you. We're really interested in the comments section below. Till next time, guys. Take care. Keep laxing.